Morning. So today we are starting our PEX installation. And so we've cut some PEX tubing. Um, we did a bunch of research on all the different types of PEX tubing. There's PEX A, there's PEX B, there's crimp style, there's all kinds of ways to connect it. Um, the one we chose is called um, the expansion uh, style, which is like the brand names are Upinor or Propex, and I think Sioux Chief makes um, some of them that are this style. So the technical style is, is F1960, which is um, basically these plastic rings. Um, they go over the pipe and then you put them over the pipe and then you expand it. So we got this expander tool um, and it will expand the opening. So it opens up the end and then that is allowed to then go on to the fitting and then it squeezes back on. And so this is what the fittings look like. Um, they don't have a bunch of barbs. It's basically just a few barbs on there. The reason we went with this is we have a plumbing friend who does this for a living and he said, look, this is the most secure thing. This is what he uses and he said this is, you know, over time, um, unlike crimps and rings and all that which will loosen over time these will get tighter and tighter and tighter around the joint and he said he's he's been plumbing for I forget how many years but he's never had a PEX um, a PEX A installation leak on him and he said he's had to fix plenty of the other kinds I'm sure there's stories about the other PEXs that are similar um, I've you know we're going with PEX because um, copper is just really hard to work with and it's like very expensive so this seems like a good compromise um, most new houses are being built with this type of system and so um, we're gonna give it a shot so um, we've made our very first connection and it was a tricky one because it was right off of our manifold but this is kind of what it looks like when it's done so this is a swivel adapter that's gonna go on the copper and then it goes to the pecs and then into an elbow, this plastic elbow right away. So anyway, that's what we're doing today and uh, it should be fun. All right, so we're getting ready to do the inlet side of the water filters. And so for that, we have a T and this is called a bullhead T because it's got a one inch side on the middle side and flanked by two smaller ones in this case they're three quarter so we'll have three quarter pipe um, pecs that comes all the way from the back that we can then filter the water again um, so we can run it in a loop to filter the water in the tanks as well as if we do the um, if we use the pump to suction out of a, a bladder or something like that it'll run through here across and then into the tank and one thing to note on these brass fittings they should all say like lead free or certified for potable water. So all of these should read NSF lead free, ANSI certified. Um, just to be sure, there's different types of brass and some of them contain lead because they're intended for running gas lines and things like that. Think gasoline, things that are not human consumption and so they don't really care if they're made with lead but that's one thing to be really careful of is to be sure that all the fittings that you're using are lead free intended for drinking water so that part has been a little bit of a pain making sure every single piece in the in the puzzle is certified for drinking water but you know in order to keep it safe that's what we have to do so this t will come here and like we said, there'll be a three quarter that comes into here and then this will go out and it'll go to our city water fill. Okay, so that'll go on there. All right, ready? Yep. So are you going to count? What's that? She sure said like 11, 11 to or 12, 12 times. times. Yep. Okay, so that's how big it is. I'll just take that and put that in there. And then just let that sit, and that will shrink back down to fit. So, yeah, it's 
get in there. Alright, ready? I can feel it shrinking down. Hi! <laughs> we can't ever make serious Hi. videos. No. Okay, so this one we want to angle slightly back. Right? So it goes towards the wall. So we'll hold it just like that. I can already feel it getting, that's tight now. All right, so we've, this is our pipe so far. And we've come to a point where we have to uh, transition to half inch pack. So this is all three quarter, and now we're gonna use half inch, which is significantly smaller than the, than the three quarter. Um, and so this bit won't work. And so it comes with three bits. So one for half inch, which is um, this blue one. So they're color coded, blue, green, and then um, there's a one inch one, which is red. Then we have to transition to this one, which will fit this pipe. That's pretty easy with these. Uh, it just, the front screws off and then that spike is what actually separates the pieces. And so we'll put this away, put it in this little bag again. And so it does come with this, the, like a grease you're supposed to use. So we'll put a little bit of that on there. Um, it says not to put too much and it says a lint-free cloth. So pretend my finger's a lint-free cloth. So um, we'll put this on just to be sure it's good and lubed up and everything's working good and it says not too much just a thin layer and so we'll then use this guy and that goes on Like that's that. weird why is that oh so it was a little bit out yeah that was weird <laughs> so yeah so the way it works is like that so you'll see how it turns it goes and it closes and then it turns it a little bit and then it closes and it turns it a little bit do you want to tell them why we picked that tool but there's like another op other option. Oh, uh, so this is the tool we went with. It's the DeWalt, but they they do have a Milwaukee one, and I, there's a, like another company that makes one also. We have a bunch of these DeWalt batteries, so our drills use that, and we've got I think another we've got a couple drills that use the DeWalt batteries. So it made sense for us to use the DeWalt version of this. Um, from what I've read, they're all really good. So. We can attest this one's been working great, so we'll see. We're, we're going to use this one throughout the install, so hopefully it holds up for us. Six, seven. Okay. Six, seven. So it needs to go back. Parallel with the... Okay. go towards me, right? Yeah, so straight. No. Straight-ish. All right, so we've got our first PEX lines installed. Um, this is a three quarter inch swivel that goes up and all the way to the other side. 
This valve allows the water to flow in through the filters again from the pump. And then um, we have a T or a T connection there that comes up, down, and then we'll have uh, just a small spigot there where we can use to hose things off and have water access on this side of the bay.